I mean, holy cow. This is the most surreal island, because look. <laughs> it's just all empty, abandoned, decommissioned. Francisco Bay Area in a lovely little town called Vallejo that happens to be home to one of the most amazing abandoned slash decommissioned industrial sites I've ever seen. The huge Mare Island Naval Shipyard. This was a naval shipyard for over a hundred years. I think they started it in like 1854 and they built over 500 submarines, warships, battleships. But it closed down in the 90s, I think 96 it officially shut down and it's just been sitting here rotting away ever since. And it's one of the most amazing abandoned industrial sites probably in the world, but the security is really tight. I tried to shoot a video here a few months ago and I got run off by security. My plan today is I'm gonna try to just drive around and shoot some footage and get out and get what I can because I'm sure the security will come running me off again. So What's kind of cool too is they made this little kind of like park jogging trail along the pier facing the shipyard and then they put all this old really cool old naval wreckage here like I guess this is a propeller from one of the old ships that they built here. I mean, this thing is gi friggin enormous. Look. Look how big this thing is. I'm standing right next to it. <laughs> My head barely comes up to the middle. Look, here's one of the old cannons, I think, from one of the old battleships. That's pretty cool. Then look over here is a giant friggin old anchor. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. That thing is huge. Anyways, this park, jogging trail, whatever you want to call it, is really cool, but I think we should try to get into the base. What do you think? Let's go. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can see. First, we gotta cross over this, well, I guess inlet from the bay. I think this is a drawbridge, actually. It's kind of cool. And this will take us onto the island. Now, it's called Mare Island, even though it's technically a peninsula. I guess it's like seasonal, um, marshes that separate it from the mainland, but it's not truly an island. Holy wow, I don't know. I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. Look at this giant friggin' warehouse, all abandoned. And there's some really cool old abandoned apartment buildings there. Look at this, new homes. There's actually a new home community out here, yikes. We'll just go over here. I think there's a ferry terminal where I can park and get out. I'm trying to pass myself off as a jogger. I put on like my best white lady yoga mom workout clothes so that if any security guards see me, you know, they'll think I'm just one of these poor people who moved out here and I'm trying to go for a run. But wow, look at this. Holy cow. I mean, I'm not going to go in any of the buildings. I'm not going to trespass. I'm just walking around them and it is fascinating. <laughs> Look, row after row of abandoned apartments. I guess this is where all the crew used to live or the service people. I grew up on an army base in Germany and the apartments look kind of similar to this. Somewhat uninspired architecturally, but you know, they get the job done. Holy cow. I have never seen this many abandoned buildings in one location let alone in the middle of one of the most expensive metropolitan areas in the United States. I mean, real estate values out here are insane. I can only imagine how much all this property is worth. Look, you can see a sign there. No trespassing. Yikes, I am not trying to get arrested, so I'm not going to go in, but I'm just going to peek in this door. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Holy cricaroni. 
I sure would like to go in there. Oh, well, look at the front. We don't even have to go in. We can just check it out from the outside. Holy crap. I mean, I have no idea what any of these buildings even were. I'm just assuming this was a fully functioning naval base. Like I was saying earlier, I grew up on an army base in Germany. And, you know, we had a commissary and a PX and a post office and schools, movie theater, bowling alley, all that stuff. So I'm guessing this must have been pretty much the same deal. But this building here, I don't know what it was. It looks like it was some kind of entertainment complex or maybe a bunch of little stores or shops. No idea. No idea at all. Like here's another creepy old abandoned building. Also looks like it was some kind of a store or something. Not sure. <laughs> wow, this jogging ruse really worked. I mean, a police car just drove right by me and didn't hassle me at all because white lady out for a run. Nothing to see here. So for anybody who doubts that white privilege is an actual thing, guess what? It definitely is and I'm proof. What the? Good old 503, building 503. Wonder what happened in there. It's like being in an entire abandoned city. So surreal. Oh, look at that ladder going up to the roof. Oh, I sure would like to go up there. <sighs> That's the thing with these urban exploration videos. Like a lot of urbex videos that I watch on YouTube, they're clearly trespassing, but I'm afraid to. Here's a building that actually doesn't say no trespassing on it. There's probably nothing exciting in it. <laughs> Except for this shaft that goes down into the darkest pits of hell. Oh, it's just water. I thought that was like a tunnel going down somewhere, but it's just full of water. Look, there was some kind of a sign out front at one time that advertised whatever this building was. Who knows? Wow, here's a, the other side of those apartment buildings. Building D, military housing. Yeah, this is giving me flashbacks to when I grew up. I lived, well, I didn't live on base, but I went to school First, I went uh, to school near Mark Twain Village in Heidelberg, Germany. And then I went to school at Patrick Henry Village, which was nearby. And they had it all, bowling alleys, post office, movie theater, schools, PX, commissary, little cafe, everything. All the comforts of home if you didn't feel safe going into the outer world. You know, where it was in my case, everybody spoke German. So if you didn't want to have to learn German and deal with all that, you could just buy everything you needed right there on the base. But here, I mean, the base is surrounded by the friggin' San Francisco Bay Area. You can go anywhere. So maybe they didn't have quite as many services here, but if not, then what the heck were all these buildings? Okay, you guys, wow, look at this boarded up old house. I mean, this must have been like. Maybe where one of the officers lived back in the day. I mean, it's a pretty impressive house. Dang. I mean, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have put any enlisted men in a place like this. Far out, now it's just all boarded up. Let me see if I can peek through here. Look at that house. Can you imagine in the San Francisco Bay Area how much this friggin' house is worth? Wow, I wonder why this wreath and this hat are on this house. Maybe somebody who used to live here? That was their hat, oh, that's sad. But holy crike, guys. Look how amazing this old creepy abandoned house is. Oh, it's killing me not to be able to go in there. Look at this cool old building. I think this must have been the school because the tiger's den. And there's a sign on the wall that says art studio. But then there's a sign over there that says cafe. So I don't know what kind of a school had a cafe in it. Wow, cool old, oh look, there was the gym. The Liberty Tigers, this was their high school. Holy crike, I wonder anybody who went to high school here, if you're watching this video, let me know what it was like. It must have been pretty cool. I mean, it's almost like you had your own private little world out here on this island. You know, everybody had shared experiences and we're going through the same stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go to high school on, in Germany. I just went to elementary and middle school. 
but it was similar, man. Old buildings. In fact, the elementary school I went to was an old World War II hospital. They just turned it into a school. Look, no trespassing now. Maybe we can at least like peek in the window or something. Love to at least look in one of the windows, wouldn't you guys? I mean, I've been very good about not trespassing so far. I haven't gone in anything I wasn't supposed to go into. So I figure I could at least peek in a window. Holy wow, it is busted in there now. But I mean, the building seems kind of structurally okay. Maybe they can turn it into something cool. Probably needs a lot of work. Whoa, look in this window. One lonely little chair. <laughs> oh, there's more chairs over here. Let's see if we can look in here. More chairs. Oh man, there's a really creepy old water fountain right here by the window. Oh wow, it sure would be fun to walk around inside that old school. Dang. Everything here is covered in moss and rust and lichen because it's real damp or right by the bay. Makes it even creepier. X'd out, not going in there. Man, it really sucks being a law-abiding urbex <laughs> YouTuber. <laughs> okay, wow, look at all this stuff. I don't even know what any of this is, but it's really interesting and kind of beautiful in a weird way. I'm just gonna do a pano so you guys can check it out. I mean, I guess these were like the cranes and the stuff where they would load the ships or hoist up. Maybe this was the dry dock. You think that was a dry dock? I think what we're looking at here in the water, I mean, it's shaped kind of like, comes to a point there at the end. Maybe that's, this is where a ship would pull in to be worked on. Really interesting. And then all this, these scaffolding and steel infrastructure was so they could get to work on the top decks of it? I don't know, I know I sound like an idiot, but I know absolutely nothing about any of this. I just find it very interesting. I also think it's interesting how these wooden pilings have metal caps on them. I wonder why they did that. I mean, holy cricaroni. This is so interesting. Wow, look at this stuff. Okay, unfortunately this is all fenced off, so we can't really get in there. Look, no photography, really? Uh-oh, well, hopefully I don't get in trouble. Maybe they don't want like the Soviets to steal our secrets? I don't know if this is really a secret. I mean, it's sitting right out here in the open. Holy wowzers. And then look, that like, looks like another bay for a ship to come in. Oh, that's like a, a launch ramp. Oh, maybe that's how they launched the new vessels that they built. Put them down that ramp and then all the way out into the water. And then you just take a right turn, it'll take you right to the San Francisco Bay. And from there, it's a short distance to the Pacific. And from there, you're not too far from the action in Japan. Okay, check this out. I'm not sure what's going on there. You can see there's this crane. Maybe they're putting in a new pylon. So yeah, this island is still in use. And matter of fact, we're gonna drive around now to some of the redeveloped areas. I mean, if you think about it, this is super valuable real estate. This is an island right in the middle of the San Francisco Bay, which last time I checked, the real estate is through the roof. So I'm sure every developer is dying to get their hands on this island. You know what I mean? It has so much potential. And when, it, when the shipyard closed down, it decimated the city of Vallejo. I mean, Vallejo is pretty ghetto now. I mean, it's actually one of the only affordable places you can live in the Bay Area because half the city lost their jobs when the shipyard closed. I mean, maybe not half the city, but I think something like 10,000 jobs were lost when this closed in the 90s. And Vallejo never really recovered. So if I lived in Vallejo, pretty sure I would want the redevelopers to come in here and do something. I mean, just sitting here resting away like this is really cool for people like me but it's not really doing much to help the local economy. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to Mare Island. Okay, now we're just gonna kind of drive around and see if we can see any of the redevelopment that they've done out here. Wow, swanky. You would never know that you're sitting on this toxic Superfund site. 
Well, I mean, if you looked over this way, you would kind of get an idea because look at this huge, amazing boarded up building. What? Okay, and then this seems kind of creepy to me. All these brand new houses that they built on this one corner of the island that has been redeveloped. It's like this creepy little Stepford Wives neighborhood. <laughs> but then, you know, right across the street from your cute little cottage is all this crazy abandoned wreckage full of homeless people. Yikes. I mean, I guess that's why they have so much security out here is to try and protect these poor urban pioneers that are trying to make a life out here on this creepy island. I mean, this would be such a weird place to live, not only because <laughs> you're surrounded by all this decay and ruin, but also you're on a friggin' island and it's a pretty big island. So if you just wanted to dick duck out to 7-Eleven and grab a pack of cigarettes or a gallon of milk, that's quite a hike to get back into town. And if you were a kid who didn't have a car, whew, you'd really feel trapped. I don't even know if there's bus service out here. Okay, I decided that since I'm out here anyways pretending to run, I might as well run and burn off a few calories. So they have this really cool little wetlands trail out here. You know, a beautiful trail goes right along the bay but it kind of parallels this fenced in area that says danger, hazardous waste area, unauthorized personnel keep out. Okay, whatever, hazardous waste. But look, you probably can't see, but there's these little vents, like stove pipes coming out of there, like they're venting out some kind of poisonous gas. Yikes. I mean, those nice new houses they built were real cute, but I sure the hell wouldn't want to live here. This place is creepy.